Hi guys, Marco is here, uh, the author of Terrain Mixer. So this is the second video about the version 1.9.2. And the reason is uh, I have added a few more functions. And also I just want to make a better video than the previous one because I think I haven't covered everything. So let's start again. So uh, here we, we are in the Terrain Mixer workspace. Uh, you can spend uh, most of the time here and you can also go to the Terrain Mixer plus Nodes workspace if you want to, you know, work with nodes because not everything is defined in this uh, pretty huge uh, properties menu on the right. So let's go back into Terrain Mixer workspace. Uh, let's start uh, with this uh, first few sliders here, per six. So these first six sliders are used for mixing and blending between the four inputs uh, in Terrain Mixer. You have four inputs, but what's new uh, in this version is that each input has two sources, two possible sources that you can use for, for your height. In case you want to change the sources for your inputs, uh, what you would do, you would just go here find this height maps uh, frame go with the tab inside of the group and change the image here so you can of course we are adding a bunch of uh, height maps to the package and i'll be creating new ones uh, and you will get those uh, for free uh, some will not be free but uh, you will get more than enough to to work with and also what you can do, uh, what I do, uh, you can uh, get yourself a copy of uh, Quad Spinner Gaia software uh, developed by uh, dear friend uh, Doug Spandy, uh, which is software for professionals uh, who are into terrains. And uh, if it weren't for Quad Spinner Gaia, I would probably never do this uh, mixer for Blender. So. I will use this opportunity, you know, to maybe uh, encourage you to become uh, one of their customers. Uh, you won't be sorry, I promise. Gaia is a super powerful professional software in which you can create uh, amazing uh, height maps. What you can even do, you can bake your height maps here, your results, import them into Gaia, and then do some. Uh, processes there like uh, erosion or and whatnot so i hope uh, i'll get uh, ducks pandy to do another uh, uh, like a youtube uh, episode with me so uh, we can discuss uh, the process uh, in it so uh, let's get back to the terrain uh, mixer workspace uh, my first slider a h mix one two which mixes inputs one and two is uh, uh, all the way to the left, uh, to the zero. And my C uh, slider, which mixes all the four, all four inputs is also all the way to the left, to zero. So this, this is how I know that I'm previewing uh, the input number one. If I would want to preview the input number two, I would slide all the way to the right. But let's just go back to the zero. Now, if I want to see the second image that I can use for uh, mixing, uh, which is uh, uh, connected to the input number one, I would use the switch one slider and go all the way to the one. So this is the second source. And of course I can mix between those two. So if I slide it back a bit, I'm mixing uh, between those two. So let's find something interesting, for example, this. Now let's see what these other sliders do. So everything below this switch sliders are actually uh, sliders that define each individual individual input. So, so for each input, you have clipping from the, bot and, uh, from the bottom and the top, uh, mirroring on X, Y, and Z axis, power, rotation, and scale. Let's go through all of it uh, for the input number one. Of course, as I mentioned, uh, I, I'm actually now mixing two 
source height sources but since they're all uh, for uh, related to input number one uh, uh, the these changes that we'll do now with these sliders are going to affect them just as if we would uh, have uh, previewing just uh, one of the two sources so let's go and see what clipping does uh, if we clip from the bottom you see you see we have this nice flat uh, area and if we would clip from the top we have the same here now if this is all too you know clean and tidy for you uh, these flat areas you can always uh, give it influence uh, from the uh, mix three and four and you do this by going to the c slider and moving it towards one so you see how now the terrain kind of breaks a bit uh, let's move this back not this wrong one let's move this back and let's go to the switch where is it now this one this is the fourth and this one okay so this was clipping uh, I'll do some edit here just to have a bit nicer and uh, terrain with more height now uh, you can also do some uh, cool things with mirroring and this is really really powerful because you can mirror all the way to the negative value which means that everything between stretches so let's see for the x-axis if I would uh, start mirroring it like this you see how I kind of stretch the terrain and I'll do even more with it you see this so you can really play a lot with this and get some interesting results you know now we can also do the same if of course if I go all the way to the right I would mirror it uh, entirely and same things applies for mirroring to on y-axis you know like this so this is mirroring on y-axis and we have also mirroring on z-axis like so also uh, we can do we can uh, what we can do we can add some power so if we if we go here and move the slider to the left we'll give it a bit more power and if we move it all the way to the right a bit less power actually what you're doing here you're playing with the uh, gamma values of your uh, source right click reset to default uh, also something uh, very uh, uh, powerful for editing uh, terrains is the rotation and you can do this here you see rotation and you can you know even scale it overall and uh, this is this is scaling uh, on uh, x and y axis so you're not affecting the height of the terrain you're just kind of scaling it like stretching it in in, in both direction in uh, x and y axis so but it can be very useful as you can see now uh, what about shifting what if you have some elements uh, on the scene uh, for example defined by one of the sources of, of for one of your inputs and you want to move this uh, element you know for example a mountain uh, over terrain you can do this easily uh, but uh, inside the nodes uh, I didn't add it to this uh, properties menu because uh, it's already big if you know many of you um, you know suggest that I should add it here I will add it here but for now you can do this in notes and I will just uh, I will show you in a second how you can do this I just want to uh, 
change the the input that I'm previewing. So I'll move this C slider all the way to the mix of third and fourth input. And uh, you see that we have the input three here. And I know this because I have the slider B, which uh, shows the uh, mix between third and fourth input all the way to the right, or to, all the way to the left, which means that we're previewing the input number three. If I would move it all the way to the right, we would be previewing input number four, but let's put input number three. And now let's move, let's go to the terrain mixer plus nodes workspace and uh, go all the way to the uh, shifter node. I could have done this also by just selecting the this uh, shifter node here and pressing uh, uh, the dot uh, sign on your uh, numpad. So. And now, uh, since I know this is the input number three, I'll go here to the where it says three for shift X and shift Y, uh, shift uh, X and shift Y, and I can move it move it on the map. I can do the same with Y. Now, you you have noticed this this stretching here. This is because we're actually moving the image source and you get this uh, uh, stretching here. Now, don't be afraid of it because you can either uh, do some mirroring on Y axis. So it would just uh, find the mirror three. If we do some mirroring on Y axis, you know, I can stretch the terrain like this. Or I can even add some other input to the mix. Uh, so let's just uh, move this back a bit. I can maybe go up here to the C slider and add a bit of uh, input one and two to the mix, you know. So now this stretching is kind of doing some cool effects to the terrains. So what else? Uh, I don't want to miss anything. So I said already we have this uh, scaling. Let's go back to the, okay, I'll just set this to default value. Uh, let's go back to the input one. and go back to the terrain mixer workspace. Now, there's also one thing that I forgot to show you uh, at the beginning, and that's blending. And uh, I have mentioned this in my previous video, previous video, but uh, I'll, you know, mention it again in case you haven't watched it. So, uh, we have uh, blending just between the second between the inputs so here I will add a bit of a uh, input number two to the mix uh, like so and here below it where it said like a blend one and two I will change the blending type so let's do it like this you see how it affects the terrain So, and you have like uh, 17 of those. Uh, some of them won't be that noticeable. Some, uh, some are just like slight changes, but if we go here and, you know, go through all of them, you will see what kinds of effects you, will, you can get with the terrain. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, that covers most of it. Now, in case you want to do even more dramatic effect uh, to your terrain, you can go here, the second modifier, it's just a blender's modifier, and activate it. So we go here, and you can get 
this kind of effect. And this can be like really, really cool if you want to fake that something is far, far away. I'm just playing here a bit. Yeah, so here now I will add a bit more details because I have one of the inputs, one of the sources for the inputs has a uh, pretty nice details, and I think that's uh, uh, toward the input uh, four. So I will go like this, and then I will go to the switch four and move it towards one. And I should get some sort of cascades. So switch four. Okay, it's already on one. And we'll give more influence to this uh, B mix in the C slider. Something like this. I'm just uh, experimenting here, you know, mixing, and this is what terrain mixer is, you know, mainly created for. So now, <clears throat> if you want to get better, if you're satisfied with your uh, result and you want to get some uh, nicer uh, details, you would uh, need to, you know. Add more subdivision level and you do this here in the subdivision modifier so I can you know fire it all the way up to the six and here you have you can if your machine allows it you can go even further I won't uh, test it because uh, my computer is you know pretty weak for today's standard standards so I'm, I have like 1080 Ti uh, card, so you know it's not like the best card ever. But if you have anything stronger, then you know you can go all the way to the maybe even eight. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think that's most of it uh, that I wanted to talk about. Uh, we'll have some new updates coming soon. Uh, more height maps uh, there will be also a video about you know adding uh, some sort of uh, trees you know um, and you know various ways of instancing uh, so you get even richer terrains and yes uh, if you have any questions please leave them below please subscribe and please uh, share this video with your friends who are also 3D artists because you know any help in promoting this uh, helps me you know to continue developing it so yeah thanks a lot and hope you enjoy using terrain mix cheers